The building and construction sector is grappling with a myriad of challenges, among them legal framework, access to timely data, high construction costs, inadequate land banks, mushrooming of informal settlements, unsafe structures and inadequate capacities towards disaster risk mitigation. The strategic plan 2017-2022 being launched today has a significant contribution in steering implementation of the agenda for Kenya in relation to the global, regional and national commitments, including Agenda 2050, World Business Council for Sustainable Development, which envisions a world of 9 billion people living well in smarter buildings with net zero energy usage. Transport Housing Cabinet Secretary James Masharia says there is need for a tripartite approach involving the government, research institutions and the industry in tackling some of the challenges in the building and construction sector. I strongly believe that the Building Construction Research Institute will strengthen research and dissemination of funding of the findings on the best practices, including innovative building materials and technologies. The plan involves promoting the use of local materials, streamlining the legal and institutional framework, as well as mainstreaming green building practices. These initiatives will contribute immensely towards the realization of sustainable development goals, new urban agenda, affordable housing, and climate change discourses. The State Department of Housing has drafted the Kenya Construction Research Institute Bill 2018, which seeks to, among others, transform the Kenya Building Research Center into a research institute that will be charged with training of personnel as well as policing the building and construction sector. This will be a turning point in the construction research. And prior to the enactment of this bill, it is hoped that a strategic plan will provide this framework. Regina Manyara, Guitar, reporting for Channel 1 Business.